Today is Thursday, April 28th. I'm Remo. And I'm Ariana. Teach us today's day three of the rotations. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. As a reminder, this Friday morning at 7.30, the Pop Club will, will meet in Ms. Kerb Kerbos. Kerbos class. We will now hear from our office on department. Good morning, Ms. Rita. Good morning, Ms. Lola. How are you? I'm great. I like your shirt. Thank you. Do you, do you see what it says? Uh, progress over for progress over for perfection. Um, and this is a statement that I feel really passionate about because it is not just about people who have autism. It is everybody. It is always about you know no one's perfect. So it's always about being someone who is working towards being a little bit better every single day. So that is progress. And so even our children with autism who are in this school, and some of them aren't even in just our classes, am I right? No, no. they're in your classes. They're in your classes, and you don't even know it. But that's the thing, is that nobody's perfect. Nobody, and nobody is perfect. If we were all perfect in this world, it would be a very boring place to live in. So the point is to just always work a little harder to be a little bit better every single day. And that's what all kids, all adults should strive to do. And so I wear this shirt, not only in honor of autism, but because it's just a reminder to myself as well. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes and that I should always just try and do a little bit better. Awesome. Have a good day. All right. Nice job, ladies. I'm going to come on up here first before we swing around for the book review. What's up, everybody? Good morning. That was an awesome message that these two just sent us. Progress over perfection. That is exactly what our level up boards are all about, boys and girls. Setting goals for yourself and moving up just a level at a time. It's not about being great all the time. It's just about getting a little bit better every single day. That should be a relief, right? It's not about being perfect. We all make mistakes. It's about how you handle it. So, boys and girls, I hope you guys have a fantastic day out here. I have a guest with me this morning. This is my son, Harper. He is here because it is national, I think, take your child to work day. And so because he is now in second grade, he's in second grade at Bristol Run Elementary, and he sees what principals do. He's always been interested in what I do and how our school runs. So it was a perfect time to get him here and hang out for the day. So when we'll be visiting classrooms. So when you see us and you see him, say, what's up, Harper? Harper, do you have anything you want to say to these guys? Go fire! Oh, Ooh, I didn't tell him to say that. <laughs> but we're not quite done because I have a book review too. So I'm going to swing right over here. And I want to introduce my man, Cooper Elsrode. He is from Miss Puswake's class. Cooper, how are you doing today? Good. All right, my man. So you are here to tell us about a book that you have read, right? What is the title of this book? What if you had an animal nose? What if you had an animal nose? Do I have an animal nose? All right, Cooper, why don't you tell us a little bit about the book? Um, it's a book of animals on this side and then on the other side. Well, so on this side, it teaches you about real, about the animals' noses. And then and on the other side, it, it, it shows you it, it with the animal nose. And it says, if you had an animal nose, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 yeah. What if you had an animal nose? So, Cooper. We want to recommend books to these guys out there, right? The whole point of this is to, to introduce people to books they might not know so that they can read them. Or would you recommend this book to everybody? I would recommend this book because it is fun and it teaches us real facts about the, about the animal's noses. Real facts about animal noses and it's fun because it makes you it helps you imagine if you actually had an animal nose. 
right on Cooper World. I'm gonna, we're going to check this out. It looks like you got this from the library too, right? So it is in our library, boys and girls. Check it out. What if you had an animal nose? Nice job, Cooper. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a fantastic day out there. Help each other out. Do it together because together we are... Patty Strong.